right, so we have some work to do in the admin section here. We have a lot of links here that don't belong here. And we have a lot of elements here that don't belong here. So let's go ahead and edit some of this here so that way we can get it ready for some of that dynamic data that we want to be able to display here in the admin section. And let's go and do that right now. So let's go to our brackets editor right here. And let's go to the admin. Remember that we made a navigation for admin. Make sure that you are in includes navigation actually in admin. You see that was the wrong navigation right here. Admin includes navigation.php. All right. So we have a lot of things here that we need to remove. All right. So this is actually the left side navigation. We should divide this into left side and I don't want to complicate things. I'm just going to leave it one navigation, but just know that there's a lot of things that we need to delete here. All right, so the first thing that I want to delete is not delete. We're going to leave some links actually. We're going to delete, we're going to leave dashboard. We're going to create a link. We're going to have two drop downs. I don't know if you remember the demo that I showed you in the beginning of the CMS. We had two drop downs for posts and for users. And we're going to have two drop downs also for that right so we're just gonna replicate this one and then so we have a total of six links if we compare this with the demo so we, we need six links there so let's find out let's first take this SB admin out of here and let's call it CMS system CMS admin save it refresh and we can see that that works there okay so this is the top in the right hand side not here but in here all right John Smith we're done with the we're actually not done with those previews these are preview buttons there this is a drop down all right and this drop down there is this one here here drop down Joe Smith and John Smith all right so let's get rid of that drop down actually and I'm site we don't want to get rid of that we want to get rid of this drop down so that drop down is huge and we don't need it because we're not going to use it why have something we're not going to use right so let's just bring it down a little bit let's just get rid of it all right All right, so refresh, come back here, refresh, done. Let's get rid of this belt here. We're not going to need that. Unless you are going to need it, you can leave it there. Or you can just always copy it from the template. All right, so this belt is this drop down right here. We're going to delete this one too. Let's just go like this. And we have another drop down. This one we, we will be using, so I'm just going to leave the. I'm just going to take the inbox out of here. We're not going to be using emails on this stuff. And the settings, we're not going to use that either. We're going to use logout and profile. All right. So refresh, John Smith, profile and logout. Perfect. Let's go ahead and finish this up in the left side. I think we have some time for that one. And let's go. So the right set, hand side, this is the navigation. Actually, that's, that's the navigation right here. Perfect. Look at that. This is a whole nav bar, and this is just that part of the left side navigation. Sidebar menu items right here. All right, so we, are, we have how many links here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We say we only need six. So I'm just going to delete three charts, tables, and forms. All right charts tables forms save come back here and see we broke we didn't break anything I'm gonna call this post uh, I leave this as dashboard I'm gonna actually replicate that drop down because that's what we have in the CMS 
drop down is the it says drop down <laughs> so let's replicate that and it's this one right here so let's make this a little smaller to see where it is actually sorry you can't see right now much but know that I'm actually replicating this drop down and now I'm replacing it with a bootstrap elements right here all right well, let's come back to it and refresh perfect it works out actually it doesn't work if if you click on it it's actually selecting both so let me just make this big again here all right so I replaced I copied this drop down right here and I replaced it with a static something that wasn't moving another element here this is actually opening both of them right here with this pound sign is opening this UL right here with this ID see the data target is a JavaScript it, it, it targets JavaScript right this attribute and it's opening this what it's saying is I want you to data, data toggle collapse this item right here all right so we're gonna call this the post posts we're gonna give it an idea of post post uh, drop down actually let's just call it make it more meaningful drop down all right and let's just make sure that we have the same on this pound right here on this data target all right and this is gonna be called post so we're gonna change the name to post and this is gonna be add post oops oh geez post view or post actually and I keep making that mistake of view or post add post right here all right and that's it let me just save it here and refresh it all right perfect the next one is categories so this one here that blank this category right here categories refresh it actually it wasn't that one it was the bootstrap grid actually all right post bootstrap grid is that right here I can barely see it sorry guys that's what the categories is gonna copy it here categories perfect and this one is gonna write some text so I know where I am so categories this one would be comments and um, you uh, this one would be users I think we need one more down here for profile and that user is gonna be also a drop down so as a matter of fact we have a drop down here this is gonna be users actually sorry about that um, and I just want to make sure that we take this out of here and replace it with the users one right here all right I see how that's looking so post category comments users and that's gonna be a, it has to be a drop down but I actually let's just put these users all right so that's the drop down right now under comments and that should be named users users all right and then one more link after this one here and when I do that is just checking to see the end tag okay and this is gonna be com called profile all right so dashboard posts categories comments users profile perfect let's put some a little space on this one here 
separate a little bit from here. So I think we're done with this for, for now. Later on, we will be styling, making this a little bit nicer, but we will leave that for last since we're concerned more about the functionality. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here because it's getting kind of long. And um, as, as a matter of fact, well, we need this. We'll, we'll leave it the same. We'll leave this the way it is right now. So anyways, let me end the video, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care and keep going.